Good morning, YouTube. So I wanted to wrap up this uh, series of videos looking at the PERC data EPG loader. So in this video, I want to compare what Windows Media Center and its built-in program guide looks like compared to the PERC data program guide, and I'll use Kodi as an example. So here I've got Windows Media Center. This is loaded on my PC, and as you saw in an earlier video, I was scanning for channels on this PC. So I've set this Windows Media Center up to use the two tuners on the PCI card inside the PC, and Media Center is pulling down its built-in program guide that comes from Rovi. So here's the program guide. And you know, everything's there. It looks pretty good. One of the things I mentioned in an earlier video is that Media Center tends to include additional channels in the program guide. So you can see here, I clicked on this channel and it's trying to do something, but it turns out this is a radio channel. I can't tune that particular channel and yet there's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, none of which I can tune. There's eight channels that show up in my program guide that I cannot access. And if we go through here, here's eight more channels that I don't get, 3.1 through 3.8. So I'll try clicking on one of those. And nothing there. And if we go down here, I don't get this one either. So there's all these channels. There's about 20 channels in my program guide that I do not receive. Now I can get rid of those. I can either go in here and disable the channel, or I can go to edit channel, or I can go to the task setting down here. If you have a whole bunch of them, you can go down here, edit, and then edit channels, and you can click all of the ones that you don't get off. One of the problems with doing that, though, is that if you come in here and go to your TV signal and scan for more channels, every time you do that, those disabled channels come back because they're new channels. It's always bothered me with Media Center. It keeps giving you channels that you can't receive, and then often there are channels you can receive that don't show up. But let's take a look at the data that's there. So one nice thing is you get these uh, thumbnails down here of the, not all the programs, but many of the programs have a little thumbnail that goes along. That's usually fairly accurate although what i'll do is i'll cut in a short bit of video here uh, last weekend i noticed there was a whole bunch of the thumbnails that didn't match the program information uh, unfortunately the audio didn't record on that video so it'll be a little bit silent but down here look at the name of the program and then the what's in the thumbnail and they don't match up. One thing that's missing is Media Center doesn't have any channel logos. There is a uh, Media Center add-on you can purchase. I think it's called My Channel Logos. It's that lets you get those logos in here for the channels. The program logos come up automatically. And then the other thing that's missing by default with Media Center is there's no favorites category. You can add one over in the uh, program guide settings. So you can go over here, TV, guide, 
and you can edit your favorites lineup, but that has to be done on every PC that you have running Media Center. In my case, that's three different PCs that all need to have a, a favorites lineup created. And I have to delete all the channels that don't show up. Anyway, that is Media Center. Let's go back and we'll take a look at the guide. Let's just pick a show here. Um, so here's Lassie, and you can see there's the information, has the description, a little thumbnail of the, the show, about a paragraph of description there. And let's see, there's more. So it's in the animals, other genre. And that's what Media Center looks like. So let's take a look here at Cody. What I'll do is pop it up over the top here. So here's Cody. So this is Cody version 16. And notice up here, I was mentioning er an earlier video that you want to keep that program guide list down. Now this time I, I had just started Cody up a little bit ago, so it had only had to update a few program guide entries. But if you have more program guide entries than you have available channels, it's just going to take longer every time you start that up. Now this one was pretty quick because this is running on my PC that's hardwired through a, a gigabit Ethernet switch to my Synology NAS, so I get really quick updates, but when I'm out in my shop and I'm using a Raspberry Pi Model B, with about a six megabit per second Wi-Fi connection, that can take almost a minute to download the program guide updates. So that's where it's kind of nice to keep your program guide as small as, as you can there. And let's go look at TV guide. So here I get my channel logos. I also get my favorites, but uh, let's look here. Let me go down, we'll find that Lassie program. So this was the program. That's a little bit different data. Like here, there's not as much background information. There's just the description of the program versus if we look back at Media Center here, details. So here's, it's actually interesting here because it's talking about the series. It looks like a lot of text here, but it's all about what the series is about, while Cody just tells you what the episode's about. And also the genre is a little more accurate. I guess uh, Media Center called it Animal Other. This one has it Drama Adventures. They have the writer, the director, the cast, the episode number title versus, uh, let's see, did Media Center have the title? Yeah, they don't have the title there. So, you know, it looks impressive here. You get more data, but is it pertinent data? Some programs have the cast and crew listed. This one doesn't seem to so that, that's kind of variable with Media Center is some have cast and crew. Let's I'm, look at another one here just to see if it's similar. Yeah, pretty similar there. And then we'll look at a different show. So here's the Lone Ranger. Pretty similar episode, title, channel. You got the uh, genre there, a little description. Now the one thing that I've Big notice that's different in uh, Cody and also DVB link is you can search. So you can come in here to TV. There's this search function, but this search is only for the program guide. It won't search your recordings. So your recordings searching has to be done just by looking at the title and the, you know, going through the title and the description show by show where Media Center has that built in. You can search the programs, you can search your recordings equally well. But anyway, that is uh, Cody. 
And then, like I said, you also get this favorites list that I set up in my DVB link TV server. So every client that I connect to the server picks up those favorite channels automatically. And I, let me show you here all channels. So now I've got all channels. You know what I go up to 1.12 which is the last one I can receive. And then I have channel two, and then I go to channel four and nine. I don't have the unreceivable channel one subchannels. I don't have the channel threes. I don't have the channel eight. So this one, it's already trimmed down to what I can actually receive on the server and I don't have to do anything here on this system. This system just picks everything up automatically. And then I can go here, I can look at my recordings. And I've got all the different recordings here. And it groups them by a series name, makes a, a folder out of the series. You have the synopsis on the side. But this is the part that is not really searchable. Like if I wanted to look for Don Rickles over here, I, I have to click through all the programs to see which episode Don Rickles was in. I can't search the TV recordings like I can with Media Center. So they're, they're different. I think they're equally usable. Media Center has some advantages. Cody has some advantages. But, uh, uh, you know, as far as the look and feel, they're pretty similar. If you really heavily use the Media Center search, then one option is to stick with Media Center. But then in Media Center, I can actually set Media Center up to use the dvb link tuners if i do that and i set up my tv signal here i can actually use up to eight tuners with media center instead of four which is the limit in media center it can only handle four physical tuners. dvb link can handle eight physical tuners and you can use up to eight tuners then with Media Center. And then Media Center picks up the program guide and TV channels from the server. So that's another option. And then you have the tuners and the program guide are managed on DVB link. And then the searching can be done with Media Center. So that kind of gives you almost the best of both worlds. The only thing that doesn't happen if you do that is you don't get the uh, favorites list is not imported. So that's the only thing that Media Center won't import from the DVB link. You can get these built in lists, but there's no favorites list that gets imported. So you still need to, to set up a a favorites list on every Media Center PC, but you can bring in all of the program guide and the, the list of received channels automatically if you want to use DVB link with Media Center. So anyway, if you have any uh, other questions about that, feel free to post up in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.